back. So the last Mini Lego Vehicles tutorial, the part five, um, it got like 300,000 views almost. And so uh, you guys probably want part six too. So um, here's part six, it's ships. Um, so I'm gonna be showing you how to build these four ships right here in front of me. And um, before we start, I wanted to tell you about uh, the little light kits. So you can buy light kits, 10% uh, off code. Uh, all the details will be in the description. So you can get 10% off of them. And then also, if you go by my subscribe button in the description, there's a join button. You can pay three bucks a month to get all these perks. Um, uh, for three bucks a month. So, uh, yeah, let's get into this. These are the four ships right here. There's uh, the Titanic, um, a battleship, a cargo ship, and a aircraft carrier. So those are the four builds. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to build them in this video, uh, but if you want to build them at your own pace or whatever on my website, I have the instructions um, just 100% free. Uh, you can just uh, view them on there if you want, if you just want to build them at your own pace. Uh, it's really easy to do. Uh, the in instructions post before the video does, so sometimes you can see what the next Mini Lego Vehicles is going to be. But uh, yeah, so you can check that out. Um, but there'll be timestamps also in the video uh, to show you how to build each one of these. Uh, it'll be that section of building each of these. So down in the description you can see those and on the uh, video track line. Um, you can also see the different sections. So. Uh, let's get into building these. So these are all the pieces you'll need for the Titanic. All of them are really easy to find. Well, well they're not too hard uh, pieces to find. Uh, but these, all these white ones are jumper plates, if you can't tell. Um, just the white stuff looks like it's blending in a little bit. Uh, but, yeah, so those are all the pieces you'll need for the Titanic. And then get the pieces and follow along with me. Okay, so just get um, the red 1x2s, the dark red 1x2s. These can also be 2x8s. Um, you can substitute um, uh, 8 of these for uh, a 2x8. Well, actually, you can substitute 16 of them for two 2x8s if you have those in red, which are probably not, or well, probably pretty hard to find. So, if you have all the 1x2s, it's easier to do that. Um, so, that's what I'm using because I have a lot of 1x2s in this color. Um, so, just lay them out like that and then just put uh, these other ones on top of them. So, uh, like this. They're not going to really connect yet. So just go like this. And then just put them together pretty much like that. Uh, do two more. So they just go together. And a weird cube, like half a cube, I don't know what the size of it is. Okay, and then one more. Like this. Wait, what are yeah, so this goes like that and then like that. So then you should have these like that with that over there. And then put one more one by two on top of each of these. And then that should be all of your red one by twos, dark red one by twos after um, you're done putting those on. So it should look like this and these shouldn't connect yet. Now you are gonna wanna get a two by six, a black two by six. And then that will go over all of these. Just a second, it's not going in. Okay, there you go. And then like that. And then on top of these two ends, put a jumper plate, the black jumper plates. So one right there. And then one on the other side as well. And then that uh, will be like that. And then you put black one by twos on top of each of these. The little two side things. So, it should look like this for now. And then, on top of this, you put another 2x6 black plate um, with 1x3s holding the ends on top. So, if they connect like this, you can kind of see how the jumper plate lines up with them. And they just connect right on like that. Okay, so now you're going to want to get the uh, white uh, tiles and then put them on e each end. Like that, and then get two white jumper plates. They have to be the newer kind with the hollow stud like that, so it can fit on top of this block. So they just go in the stud right there, right over it. Um, and that is on both sides. And then get a white two by six and put that on top. And then on this one, you're gonna wanna put the two one by one tiles on each jumper plate. And then two more jumper plates on each end right here. And then these bigger jumper plates 
right here, and then you probably know what to do from here. You just tack uh, two of the yellows and one black on every uh, jumper plate uh, stud. So I'm doing that real quick, and it's really easy. You probably know exactly what to do. Um, so I have one more to go. Right there. Um, and this is what it should look like right here. So, finished, pretty easy to make. So now let's move on to the battleship. Okay, so these are all the pieces you'll need for the battleship. Most of them are pretty easy to get. These, uh, like clipper, clipping pieces, clipper pieces right here, I don't know what you call them. But those in light blue gray might be a little harder to get, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but all the pieces in this one, pretty simple. Um, this two by four can just be uh, four one by twos if you don't have it, so um, yeah. Okay, so to start it out, you need to get the two by four and put some one by twos on it like this. And then you're gonna need uh, two one by twos on each side, so like this, kind of, yeah, like that. And then put one one by two on each side, like po poking out like that. Um, and then you're gonna wanna put uh, a two by eight plate over all of the, the middle dark red. So it'll be like this, it's all pressed together on there. And then on top of each one of these one by twos, put another light gray one. Oh, well, another, well, just a light gray one by two on top. So like that, and then it, um, you're gonna wanna put another one by two on top of each of the ends. So the same, well, light bluish gray again on top of each one. And then a jumper plate on each side of this. Like so, and then you're going to want to put a 1x2 tile right there, and a 2x3 plate right there, and a 2x2 tile just on it, like that. And then you're going to want to put another 2x3 plate on top of that 2x3 plate, so like that. And then a 1x3 tile holding these two ends on, so they'll be connected now. So we go like that, and that, now they're connected. Um, and then, you're gonna wanna go and put two of these on there. I don't know what you call them. One by two with like a bar. Uh, and then, a uh, jumper plate right there. And on top of the jumper plate, you're gonna wanna put a one by one plate. Like that, and then, you're gonna wanna put all four of these clipping pieces on them. So when you put them on, make sure they're scooted to the edge fully, like they could be out here, but push them to the ends. So that they're touching the ends, not each other, so like that. And do that for both sides. So then put it on and scooch it out to the edges. So like that, and then you can line them up. And then, you're going to want to put uh, three jumper plates on. So. One goes right there, one goes right there, and then one goes on top of these two right here. And then you're just going to want to put uh, the last two pieces on, so this mini slope faces towards the front, so like that, and then the antennas just, the antenna just sits right there, like that. And then it's good. There's the battleship. So these three down here, before you pause the video, um, these ones right here, uh, the, the tiles, you need 44 random colors of them. It doesn't matter what colors, just random. Uh, just 44 of them. Uh, the one by ones, you're going to need 21 random colors. Um, and then you're going to need 55 one by twos uh, of random colors. So the, these three down here, the red, the light gray, and the dark gray, those are just random colors, and you need those amounts of them. Um, and then... The blue pieces might be a little harder to find, I'm not sure. These two pieces right here are jumper plates. If I block out the light, you can see them a little easier. The jumper plates, not tiles. Um, but yeah, so get those pieces and then follow along. So first you're gonna wanna get two of these and those will just sit there like that. And then a one by four, just sitting on top. And get a two by four and that will just go right next to them like that. And then get four one by four plates, and those will just all go on there like that. And then these should all form together.
good, but they're not connected together yet. I'm gonna get a one by four, put it on top of this one by four right there. So that'll just stack right there. And then another one by four, and that one will go on top of these two two by threes right there. And then you're gonna wanna get uh, the one by sixes, and these will connect pretty much these all together. But, and so this will hang off the edge by one, as you can see there. Um, and so just do that with another one right there. And then the other side will also have the same thing. So just connect those on there like that. And then one more that hangs off the edge. So like that. And then just get two more one by sixes and they will just go on these two spots right there. And this will just be loose for now. Okay, so now just get some two by threes. So right here and put them like that. So it hangs over the edge by one and do that for each side so it should look like that and then get some one by twos and the one by twos will hang off the edge by one also so they'll look like that compared to the two by three so do that on each side so um pretty simple just right there and then right there and then you're gonna want to get two by four and the two by four will just go right in the middle of everything so it'll go right there and then you're going to want to put one by fours, and then those will just fill up everything else pretty much. So you're just going to want to put them right there. And then same thing on the other side. So I just put three on the other side like this. So now it should look like this and no parts should be loose. You're going to want to get these little slanted pieces and then these will just hang on the edges like that. And do that on each side and two and then the four by six plate that'll just go on right there and then get four one by sixes and those will go on on the other side very simply just like that two white jumper plates and then these go right on there just like that really simply and two one by three plates go on there and then the middle of those put the brick so like that and then the slopes will hang off and then you just put the tiles on the top so that tile goes like that and then this one goes on like that and then you got an empty cargo ship okay so this part might get a little confusing so with the crates um on each end so you're gonna want to stack one by ones and with a tile on top and then those will just go on each end so you'll want two of those like this and these can be whatever color you have and so it'll look like that like they're different crates and then if you look at my tower right here you can do the one by one thing wherever you want so you can have like indents and stuff um, but uh, you'll stack one by two like this and then they'll go sideways like this so then it'll look like crates popping up and down um, and yeah, so I finished mine. You just want to stack the one by twos like I showed you and just put it all over it. Um, do the same one by one trick on each side and then one in on each side. So it should look like this. You can make the top level if you want. You don't have to have like the crates uneven and everything. Um, but uh, yeah, you can kind of see where I put the divots. You can put the divots wherever you want. Um, the one little parts that pop up, you can put those wherever you want. Uh, but yeah, that's how you make the cargo ship. And yeah, let's move on to the aircraft carrier. A couple pieces you'll need for the aircraft carrier. Um, these back here are clips. I'll grab one because they might be a little hard to see from back there. Well, from, from so far away. Uh, they're these types of pieces. So that's what those are. Just to clarify, I messed up the pieces a little bit. Um, but that's what those two are right there. These uh, four right here with the dark blue, sh with the dark blue uh, gray one. Uh, they're all mini slopes, not tiles, so they like, look like that. Um, and everything else, you should probably be able to tell what it is. But uh, get these parts and then follow along. Okay, so to start off, you're going to need these two pieces right there. And on the end of this one before, put a brick. And on top of the brick, you're just going to put a mini slope like that. And then put that one by four just on there like that. And then the one by eight can connect to it. And then on top of those, put the two by six, like that. And then you're gonna wanna put the uh, brick with a stud on the side and put this mini slope facing like that on it, 
So, you got that. And then you're going to want to put a 1x4 on top of there. And then another one right there. And put a 1x2 with a double mini slope on top of that. So, like that. And then on top of the next one, you can want to do the exact same thing. So, put a 1x2 with a double uh, mini slope on it. Like that. And then on top of those, put a 1x6 like this. And then a 1x3, we're going right there with a, no, another double mini slope. Um, a 1x1 plate goes right there. Um, a mini slope. And then a tile. So it should look like this. Hopefully you got it. Um, with this little piece poking up. Now just put this 1x6, or uh, well, a 1x6 uh, plate, just like that on there. And then you're going to want to put a 1x3 on it right there and then you're going to want to put a 1x2 right there with a 1x3 going over that and put a brick with a stud on the side like that and then behind that you're going to want to put a 1x1 one one with uh, two vents going like that. So now you're going to want to get two 1x2s and stack them on top of each other so like this and then on top of that you're going to want to put a one brick that doesn't have a stub on the side and then get one that does and put it on the other side so it should look like this and then this little chunk of stuff will go on right there and then um, two of these will go on on the end so like this uh, really simply just put it on there and then um, you're going to want to put on a uh, tile right there and then another one on the back like that so now you're going to want to grab this one this one by eight and then um put this one by six back there and then also a one by two just like that and then this will connect so you leave a one by two spot open right there and in that spot you put that uh, one by two and then put this piece on top so just really simply Put it like that, and then you're going to want to put um, some of the other pieces on, so the vents, you're going to want to put those right there, and put this mini slope right um, like this, so it's facing down, so you don't even see the slope pretty much, like that, and then um, get this piece, and that will go right there, so like that, and then the last vent will just go in that little spot right there. So you should have it like that. So get both of these pieces right here, with the little ends, I don't know what you'd call them, but um, those will just go on both sides of this. So like that. And then we'll get the uh, quarter, quarter of a circle tile. I don't know what you'd call them, but that sounds right. Um, <laughs> but those will just go on like this on the sides of them on the front part, so facing this way, those ones will go. And on the back part of it, on the back one, just the uh, one by one tiles will go right there. So get both of those and both of them will go back there. And then on top of that, you're gonna wanna put this piece and put it right there so it hangs over. And then just get two jumper plates and they just go like this. And like that, and then the stud with a hole in it goes right on there with a vent on those two studs. So the one vent, well, the one not slanted vent, goes right there. So now get two one by threes, and on bottom of one of them, you're gonna want to put this piece like that, and then connect the two one by threes together with a one by four, so they'll look like that, and then put a one by six over them like that and then you're going to want to put the yellow piece over that so put the 1x6 like that and then the 1x4 will just go like that and um, then you're going to want to use this 1x4 and put this 1x6 over here and then you're going to want to put uh, this 1x4 and this 1x4 and this 1x2 a lot of repeating um, and then you're just going to want to put on these last pieces, the last tiles. So 1x4 tile right there, and a 1x6 tile right there. 
And this, you probably already know where it goes, it clips right onto that piece right there. And there you go. The aircraft carrier is done. Okay guys, so that's it for Mini Lake Vehicle Tutorial Part 6. If you haven't seen the other parts, all the other five parts, um, they'll be linked in a playlist up here in the corner or the, and down in the description. Um, but as always, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notifications bell.